Hello, my name is Krishna from Best Engineering Project and today in this video I am going to show you how to make countdown timer using Arduino Uno board. This circuit is basically designed for 50 minute countdown timer but you can change this time limit according to your requirement in the software part. The timer will always be in one of the two state that is it will either be stopped in which case turning this rotary encoder will change the time or it can be running in which case it will counting down as you can see here 2 1 0 9 8 7 now pressing the button on the rotary encoder will toggle between these two states as you can see here now before proceeding to how the circuit work, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon in order to get notification of every new project that I will upload in near future. Now let us know if you fail or if you find any difficulties while making this project in the comment section. Now rather than making the rotary encoder change the time one second per rotation step, we have an array of the time declared in software part as int time array. Now the EPROM library is used to store the last used time so that each time the project is powered up it will remind the last time used. Now let's talk about component we have used for this project. One Arduino Uno board, four seven segment common anode display, eight hundred ohm resistor, three hundred kilo ohm resistor and four 1 kilo ohm resistor similarly 4 pnp transistor in this prototype we have used bc558 but you can use any pnp transistor like bc307 one piezo buzzer in order to indicate the time one rotary encoder as you can see here and few number of jumper Before going for circuit diagram, let's check whether this 7 segment display is of common anode type or of common cathode type. For that, take a multimeter, adjust it in continuity test mode. If you see the data sheet of any 7 segment display, the middle pin from both the sides is sorted with each other. That is, it is either of common anode type or of common cathode type. Let's check this display first. Connect this LED probe or positive probe to the middle pin of the 7 segment display and connect another probe that is black com black probe or common probe to any other terminal of 7 segment display as you can see here LED start to glow thus it is a common anode 7 segment display similarly let's check this display too here I'm going to connect common probe to the middle pin and this rate or positive supply pin to any another terminal as you can see here LED start to glow thus it is common cathode 7 segment display now let's see the pin output of this PNP transistor that is PC558 this middle pin is for base whereas this right pin is for emitter and the left most pin is of collector plus 5 volt is connected to the emitter pin of each of the transistor as you can see in circuit diagram whereas base is connected to the digital output of arduino uno board using current limiting resistor and this left most pin that is collector pin is connected to the common anode pin of digital display the seven segment display now if you see the pin diagram of this rotary encoder, it consists total number of 5 pin, 2 is for output that is output 1 and output 2. When we rotate this rotary encoder, the output vary. For that we have 2 output pin and 1 is output pin is for this push button switch. 
whereas to another pin is for common pin as you can connect it to either 5 volt supply or for positive supply. We had connected these two extra pin to plus 5 volt supply as shown in circuit diagram. As you can see in circuit diagram as well as in this prototype, we had connected all the display parallel with each other. That is, pin A of display 1 is connected to pin A of display 2, 3 and 4. Similarly, pin B, C, D, E, F, G, all the pin are connected parallel with all this display. Let's see the software code part. For that, download the software code from the link given in description section that is best engineer project slash countdown timer using Arduino. As you can see the software code part is very simple and can be understood by anyone with little knowledge on Arduino programming language. You can modify this programming code according to your requirement that is you can change the pin connection, you can change the time limit etc. Only library file or header file is used in this program or software part is EEPROM. In order to store the last used time so that each time the project is powered up it will remember the last time used. You can even disable the tick tick sound from the buzzer in every second for that comment the relevant line of code. A update countdown time function. <clears throat> Compile the software code and upload to your Arduino Uno board. After connecting all the components as shown in circuit diagram and uploading the code to your Arduino Uno board, let's see the output. As you can see here, this first display shows 0, second display shows 0, this third display shows 2 and the last display shows 0. This means this countdown timer is set for 2 minutes. If you press the button, when we press the switch, the countdown timer will start for 2 minutes with a tick sound. From this buzzer. In this way, you can also adjust like this is adjusted for 20 seconds. This is adjusted for 2 minutes 20 seconds. For 6 minutes. In this way, you can change the timing by rotating this switch this routine encoder switch you can adjust the time over this display